the women of London, borough by borough, breakdown continues by looking at North London. Now, here I will include three boroughs, Haringey, Camden, as well as Islington. Those three boroughs, Haringey, Camden, as well as Islington, constitute my borough breakdown of North London. So what are the girls like in North London? Well, people kind of stay in their lane in Haringey and Camden. Hypergamy isn't off the scale, especially when you compare it to Central London, the borough of Westminster and Kensington and Chelsea. What is meant by that? Well, that's it. People kind of stay in their lane in Haringey and Camden. As a man, especially uh, a high-value man, a white man, uh, you are advised to uh, avoid the hood. Avoid the hood areas in Wood Green, around the back, behind uh, the station. <laughs> avoid the hood areas in Tottenham. Yeah, you ever wondered why most Tottenham fans don't live in Tottenham? They live in Hertfordshire and commute down, watch the game and go back up. <laughs> yeah, because Tottenham, the area, isn't very nice. So uh, avoid Tottenham. Avoid Broodwater Farm. Try to avoid uh, the hood areas in Kentish Town. And there are many. The council states around the back. And definitely avoid uh, the hood ratchet. Black girls there. In the words of Minister Jap, the goddamn German shepherds. German shepherd energy, boy. Nevertheless, there are some nice lounges. There are some very nice lounges in Camden, around Camden Town, even around Mornington Crescent. One thing uh, you'll notice around Camden Town and Mornington Crescent is people are very open, it's very hip, it's very vibrant and young and it's mixed with a dash of goth slash grunge culture as well as um, classy places to sit and eat, especially on Fridays and Saturday evenings, pre-coronavirus of course. Yeah, King's Cross and Euston. And although those two massive mainline interconnecting train stations are always in constant flow, there are places, even at King's Cross, where you can uh, sit down, enjoy uh, something to eat, enjoy something to drink, and then head back on your way. Most people just uh, really just pass through King's Cross and Euston. But if you explore... uh, the bars and the places to sit down and eat for example uh, the the hotel right outside King's Cross station you'll find that it's a place where you can socialise with somebody you'd uh, get to know or somebody you've uh, come to meet for people who seek something of higher class and ladies of higher class you have to go around Highgate Muswell Hill areas such as Crouch End and Archway these are amongst the most prosperous areas in the country but unless you're meeting somebody there or you know somebody from there you'd only really go there on appointment you can't just go to Highgate and start pitching game because a pickup artist told you what to say and you watch this video six times the following the, the evening before The men that those ladies who live in areas such as Highgate, Muswell Hill, Crouch End, Archway. The men that those ladies are with are of high value. So they expect certain uh, levels to be reached before you uh, 
start trying to move to them. Incidentally, a lot of the Arsenal footballers, for example, uh, Mesut Ozil, when he was playing for Arsenal, live in Highgate. The houses there are enormous. If uh, that is not your thing, you can always um, go to areas such as the BT Tower, London Zoo and Parliament Hill. Uh, There, you can uh, show your date around, you can uh, introduce her to some of the nice touristic parts of London. And on the other hand, you can also take a, a girl or share an evening together in Primrose Hill for excellent views of the city. For relax, relaxing themes, there are many massage and sauna joints. For example, in West Hampstead and one specifically in Swiss Cottage. And if you if you come to uh, No Camden, whisper it, Camden is also very, very segregated. Yeah, that's something which um, is quite unknown Camden is very segregated you can for example be in the outstandingly affluent St. John's Wood wow or up the road in Swiss Cottage and then 15 minutes later be in the council flats of NW1 likewise in Harringay slash Islington you can be in a rundown council estate block in Turnpike Lane or Wood Green where you find only hood black people and then 15 minutes later be in Tufnell Park or the posh end of Crouch End of Crouch Hill N8 where you find only white people and you notice the difference trust me between Tufnell Park and Wood Green you will know the difference between Haringey and Hornsey. One thing uh, you may seek to uh, to know is that the better areas of Camden, you don't have much interracial dating. Even though the women there are decent, you don't have much interracial dating. Once in a while, the rich and prestigious might emerge from the Camden Roundhouse the Camden Roundhouse is a bigger uh, entertainment venue in Camden Town for charity balls and galas but those are usually private ticketed events um, and uh, they go there and then leave in private cars and those who aren't in that circle will not really get access to such places so that is what what is meant by the segregation in, in and around Camden So, in consequence, the average rating I would give for women in Camden, Islington and Haringey, the North London boroughs, is, now, this is in relation to uh, the class that you see in Highgate, Muswell Hill, Crouch End and Archway, 7 out of 10. Yep, 7 out of 10. Were I to only focus on uh, Haringey, it would be about a 5. But because the best parts of Camden and Islington are so classy and elegant and uh, very appealing, it boosts it up to a 7 because the women there generally are very, very nice. Nice in terms of personality, nice in terms of familial values, nice in terms of looks, well kept and um, very feminine. 